Hello. On March 8, 2015, I received a vision from our Lord Jesus. And so it starts off with Miss. And it, so it says the word Miss. And it could be the word uh, Mississippi, but I don't know. But I just, it's like, okay, well, something with Miss. So it could be Mississippi. So that's all I received for that first little portion there. Okay. And then the next part of the vision was a Bible tossed to the side. Like someone held the Bible, just woof, floof, flung, flung it away. And then the vision went to a combination lock on a safe. This type of round combination lock. And then the statement that people are making up their own interpretation of the Bible. Okay, and that was it for the vision. And when it comes to Jesus, you know, when it comes to the Bible, I, that's, that's what I think this, is, this vision is about. You know, I think the interpretation is that people are making up their own mind about Jesus. They're, tr they're not using the Bible. And, you know, where the Bible says that Jesus died for you and that he raised up you know, from the tomb, you know, that you have the Shroud of Turin and that uh, Jesus had a resurrection and rose from the grave and actually, you know, also ascended into heaven. All of that information is in the Bible. But people are tossing that away. They're using other reference books. And so what I'm going to do is I have all these different links that I'm going to put in the description field so later you'll see you know all these descriptions um, you have a new book from Bill O'Reilly where they describe Jesus as pretty much just a man you know so and, and it's like well what about the resurrection part they don't go into that so it's like whoa you know let me go ahead and I want to refer you all to Good Shepherd 007 I'll, I'll put together no spaces and his channel gives lots and lots of different information about why the Shroud of Turn is real. Um, this is one of my videos that I did in the past that references different different good links also. If you're like, well, is there any other book out there that describes Jesus as real besides just the Bible? And the answer is yes, and there's tons and tons of them. There's four links worth, but I'm only putting you to link one. And just different um, Roman senator, you know, writings. Whenever they went to court and talk, you know, talked during their court proceedings and said, et cetera, like that, they would write everything down. So it's all written down that yes, Jesus was here and you know, in front of Pontius Pilate, such and such. All those proceedings are written, so it's true. Okay, that's a different lesson. Okay, let me now go to this. I want to refer you. To this, this this is a book from Bill O'Reilly O'Reilly called Killing Jesus. He is actually going to have a movie of this on TV um, on the National Geographic Channel, March 29th. This is going to be a made-for-TV show um, where they're going to go into the life of Jesus. Supposedly, also information you've never known. Blah 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 blah. Um, but then, when it describes, does it go into uh, the resurrection of it? The answer is no. You know, from what's written here, it does, does not say it. Let's see. He goes, to understand what Jesus accomplished and how he paid with his life. And then it goes on. It's like, okay, wait a minute. What about the resurrection? They don't do that. Let's see. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, all this is just from Bill O'Reilly, and I think this may be pressing the agenda that maybe Jesus was only a prophet, and the answer is no. Jesus is your God. Hold on. Oh, I wanted. I want to go back about the cross here. This is the cross that they have on their book. And so they have the sign, uh, they, they don't even have the cross as a normal cross shape, they have it as a big giant T. 
and they have the sign. So, well, where do you put the sign? Because it says there they put a sign on the cross. Oh, let's just put it at the top of the T. Boy, that's so wrong. <laughs> so here, let me quickly refer you to what it says in the Bible. Here we go. So I have, this is the book of John, chapter 19. And so here we go, chapter 19, verse 18. We'll start there. Uh, where they crucified him, and uh, two others were with him on either side, and Jesus in the middle. So, okay, it was first talking about the Golgotha, and that's where they crucified him. And then, after they crucified him, and then Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. So after Jesus is on the cross, as I want to point this out, after Jesus is on the cross, and then they put the sign. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. There we go. Okay. The title then read, Many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin, so a pretty large sign. Then the chief priests of the Jews to Pilate, write not the king of the Jews, but that he said, I am king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. So I want to show that first, Jesus was on the cross first, before the sign. Why is that important? Let me stand up here. Here we go. This is Jesus on the cross. Or, of course, you know, similarity. Or the, you know, example of a cross. Let me focus a little bit here. Okay. Now, when you saw that Bill O'Reilly book, they were trying to show a letter T, and they have the sign where behind his head. Jesus is on the cross first before the sign. How are they going to nail a sign to the cross if it's only a T? Uh, excuse me Jesus, uh, you're on the cross. Can you move your head to the side so I can put this big giant sign? It's got it written three times, you know, in Greek. It's, um, what is it, Latin? And Hebrew, can we, can we move your head over so you can put this big sign here? Oh, and I also need to, you know, raise and lower this hammer onto the nail without hitting you. It's like, no, Jesus' head is in the way. That's why every single cross you've ever seen ever always has this portion here. Always. Because you have to have a place for the sign. You can't put the sign where Jesus' head is. So so that's just like, ugh. <laughs> so, so sad. It's like, if you're going to do a thing about, you know, a book about Jesus, put the real cross on. Don't put a fake cross. You know, quit trying to, you know, try, try to say that Jesus is not, you know, our, our Lord Jesus is not the Son of God. That he plain old died and that's it. No, he did not just plain old die. He resurrected. And I have um, tons of links that I'll put in the description field that will have all that information there for you. And Bill O'Reilly, you need to read it. <laughs> okay, so everyone, that was the vision. Uh, people are trying to get rid of the Bible. Maybe via, maybe Mississippi will be one of the first places where they will toss the Bible aside, toss the word of Jesus, you know, from uh, God the Father, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, toss all that information away. No, 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 you grab onto that Bible, you hold it close to your heart, you get more Bibles and hide it in your home when they come and steal their, uh, come and take away your Bibles from your home that you have extra ones hidden, because it's, it's going to be bad. They're going to say, no, no, no more Bibles, you got to get rid of them. It's like, ah! No, no, no. You, you have plenty in reserve. Okay, and this show will be on um, March 29th, National Geographic Channel. And just have your Bible handy. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone and God bless.